Hello, hello everyone, welcome to another Age of Empires 2 cast, and today, to change things up a little bit, I'm casting a match on Arena, and these are two high elo players who are well known for their love of this map, both of them have played over 2000 matches I think in this map, uh, here in the south we have John Slow in the red, playing with the Bohemians, currently one of the top 150 players in the world, and here in the north we have Draken playing as the Turks in the teal color. Uh, top 100 player, both of them very high elo, and both of them pretty well known for loving Arena. <laughs> um, John Slow's map generation? <laughs> Three gates here in the back, a little bit wonky. <laughs> and that's Arena for you, considering how sometimes Arena generations can be. This is by far not the worst I've seen. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Bohemians versus Turks, two sieves that have great gunpowder, the Turks have the Janissaries as well, they get chemistry for free, they mine gold faster, one of the... They are pretty well known for being one of the best sieves on Arabia, their scouts line upgrades to Hussars for free, and the Bohemians also have great gunpowder, with even the Hufnice to... Uh, the unique Bombard Cannon upgrade. That's a really powerful unit in the late game. Ooh, here we see the Ibex push failing a little bit. But uh, yeah, uh, Bohemians have the Hoof Nisse. And as well, great monks. They have a unique that, that makes it so, it's so that their monks cost food instead of gold. And uh, also some of the monk upgrades. For example, Fervor, which increases the, the movement speed and Sanctity, I think, which increases the Hit points affect villagers besides monks, so some hidden economical bonuses there in disguise. Yeah, <laughs> John Soul does not appreciate the wonkiness, freeing himself a little bit of space, just deleting the back walls. A lot of players also delete this wall. This should be deleted, I presume. Uh, yeah, but in. Arabia usually think, okay, um, what's my plan for feudal age? Will I go aggressive on feudal? Feudal is the first great decision point in a map, in an open map like Arabia. Here in Arena, you are so well defended by the stone walls that the match usually begins once players reach castle age. Of course, there can be some exceptions. Uh, humans can do some some wonky tower ram push in feudal age but usually when you see most aggression most decision making is in castle age of course relic control is also important these games tend to go more towards the late game and whoever gets more relics can be in a advantage a, a better position for the ga late game you see both players here luring in the boars and I wonder how they are going to play it. Will we see a lot of eco? Will we see um, like a forward castle drop soon? Will it, they play it slow, play it fast? I'm not an arena player. I know very little about the arena metal, arena meta. <laughs> so I'm curious to see how a high elo arena looks like. Uh, both of them scouting, of course. Here it's a, an easier map to scout. One of the few maps I would say that auto-scouting can be useful, uh, can be more useful, of course, if you don't want to bother with it, the auto-scouting arena does a good job at exploring the overall map. We see Aton Wood already for Draken and uh, for, for John Slow and uh, Turks are known for going fast Imp. And maybe John Slow, the economy is more oriented towards Castle Age, while Draken is already thinking of going straight to Imp. Let's see, let's see what these players will cook for us today. Zero seconds of idle TC time, of course. I'm expecting both of them to be very efficient. Of course, the 
boom, the time where you start to boom, your efficiency at booming, all of that plays a huge role here in Arabia. And here in Arena, I cast Arabia so much that my mind keeps... I hope I haven't said it before on the cast, I need to check. But Arena, not Arabia, this is Arena. <laughs> what I was about to say. There's usually in most strategy games, I'm not saying this regarding Age of Empires, it applies to almost all strategy games. There's like a triangle of counters and it's that when your opponent is expanding, you should attack. When your opponent is attacking, you should defend. When your opponent is defending, you should expand. Basically when your opponent is on the defensive, you should go for greed and expansion. In Arabia, since both players already start with the stone walls, you can assume that both players are playing on the defense. The map itself plays the defense for the players. So what's the correct play when you're on the defense? When your opponent is on the defense, he's going for expansion. And that's why you don't bother a lot with aggression, because looking at the triangle of counters, your opponent defends, you expand, you boom, you add eco, you go for the greed, and since you are already defended, that's how usually um, Arena is played. But yeah, with both of them scouting, um, found four relics uh, for John Slow, and for Draken has found three. Oh, missed this one by a little bit, and missed this one by a little bit. And I wonder if. We will see uh, one of them going fast towards the, the the relics, and I wonder if these were manually placed or if this is the auto farm placement. Because I do know the auto farm placement places it them like this. A lot of players usually start on farm here, then the next one, next one, next one, and the auto farm placement does place them opposite like this. Yeah, this is more common. I do wonder if. Draken is already using the auto farm placement. A lot of players avoid it until uh, until later stages in the game. We see here some scout engagements. This is a 50-50 at this point. When Draken wins uh, the 50-50, and this is a scout that will get upgraded into Light Cav. Um, John Slow is the first one to click up to Castle Age. Um, Gets double beat axe. Uh, Draken is getting horse color. And probably looking at how things are oriented, we won't see any wonky play like fast team. Ooh, but John Slow with the Bohemians going ahead, going forward with two villagers. I wonder what's the play here. Adding the barracks, of course. He doesn't have any military buildings yet. When you go fast castle, you just drop the blacksmith and the market. Ooh, and, and villagers going forward from the Turks. The quick walls. I wonder what's the play here. Nice defense. Of course, Bohemians also have the uh, Hussite wagons, which can make can be a tricky unit to play against. Here, yeah, I need to manage the villagers a lot of scouts coming out because they will get upgraded into light cat and this can be good for fighting off against the monks to get the relic control this is why turks are so good in arena so many options so many they have their units that are good on arabia they are all good for the turks are good with all of them basically <laughs> do you see any of them what are they adding Who will be the first to add TCs? Who will be the first to add um, any monastery or siege workshop? Yeah, two monasteries for, for John Slow and a siege workshop for Draken. Of course, you with the monks you can counter siege after getting redemption, but the the light cap does make monk play harder. The monks can have the rally point here in the center and they will be protected while converting. And we see another monastery for Draken. So a lot at higher relos, very common to see monk play. Of course, the uh, pikemen do great against the light calf. 
So this will be all down to execution. Who can find the better angles? Who can find the better engagement? Scorpions to counter the 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 pikes. And when we see two high level players play, this is like playing rock paper scissors, but seven games at the same time. This counters that, but this counters this, and it's all about micro. It's all about picking good engagements. Does he get a conversion? I think he's going to get two. No, ah, he killed the own unit he was about to convert. One, uh, uh, one of the pike ones did manage to get a ballista down. We have redemption to counter the siege, sanctity for more HP on the monks and the villagers. Three monasteries already for John Slow. And yeah, if this was lower elo, usually in arena, all players stay at home. They both add three TCs and boom, before any engagement, this is high elo. Players on high elo, regardless of the map, they tend to be more aggressive. And here, yeah, the pikemen need to always defend the. Uh, the monks and he does get two conversions out of the scorpions and now the rock paper scissor is completely in the favor of John Slow. He removed the, the unit that best countered the pikeman and now he has much more control because he was converting the siege workshop forces the delete and some people do say the best unit in the game against buildings is not rams, is not patards, is monks. I've heard players say that and here you see why. And this is not only a building that your opponent loses, it's also a building that you gain, so it's even more, the damage is even bigger. Draken behind this does have a better economy with the two TCs, John Slow still on one, but applying a lot of pressure. Converting more and more houses. <laughs> And this is the kind of damage that players underestimate. Uh, you are uh, make your opponent can get house because of this. You have to produce less houses. This is damage. It doesn't look like a lot of damage, but just some house conversions and the map control you are gaining. Uh, Dragon did get one relic, but it will soon be extracted by the battery ram. Trying to convert some villagers. But yeah, the range is not upgraded yet. The imp upgrade oh, but he does get the villager. Oh, and this villager can be sneaky. Oh, an outpost. Oh, this will give so much information. If this is finished, I'll delete the villager. If this was finished, it will give so much information about the base layout from Draken. The light have tried to find some damage, but they aren't being able to. And John Slow. Even though he has a military lead, he really needs to cause damage. He really needs to start pushing more and more. Because Draken is has a huge economic lead. And he, if he can start getting a castle up, has a lot of gold to go in. If he can lock down the position, reduce this damage. If Draken can hold this push, he will be in a great position. Uh, but John Slow is pushing with so much, so many monks. Um, six monks, 12 pikemen. The siege, a little bit of everything. Some of them was stolen by for from his opponents. Both of them dead even on resources collected. And John Slow, even though he only has one TC, with the pressure he's applying, he also has higher idle TC time. We see a market going down. Yes, you can balance the eco to go in faster. You can get a, a castle down. Oh yeah, he buys the stone, yeah, drops the castle. Tries to buy some space, tries to buy some time. He wants to reach Imperial Age. And John Slow behind this lacks the only 10 farms. It does make it a lot harder to reach uh, Imp, but he goes forward with the villagers and he has enough stone for a castle. What will be the play? Where will he place the castle? I don't think he can see the opponent's castle here. Yeah, oh, he can, he can. Oh, yeah, this outpost here. Great outpost. 
Yeah, and now his pressure was greatly re reduced. The Janissaries come out. He did buy a lot of food, so the Janissaries did um, delay him. And I think that John Slow going faster to him will be huge. Draken without the Janissaries could have clicked up to him faster. Yes. Yes, 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 okay, he did it, he did it, yes. Both of them picked up to him at the exact same time, basically. Because this is going to be a trap war. How's it? That will be what defines the game now, and... But the thing is... Track an amazing economy, he will have a lot more production at him. John Slow... Can find other angles to attack. If he wants to leave the castle here, just defending his position. The Janissaries do great against the siege, they do great against the, the infantry. The monks are the only unit that can threaten them, I feel like. The castle does secure the, the forward military. He grabbed three relics already. That's a good play in the middle of all of this chaos. He has map control and a lot of players forget to, to take advantage of the map control they do have. John Stone knows I have map control, I can add outposts, I can have all of the vision. Look at this vision. He sees everything, there's no way Draken can leave his base unnoticed. So Draken really needs to... In him, get a military, use convert this equipment to military and break out of this. Because John Slow right now controls the entire map. He has three relics here, one here, this is the only relic remaining. And this monkey is probably heading towards it. Villager, you can't grab the relic. Yes. <laughs> the Janissary numbers do go up. Yeah, they deal so much damage against against the siege and against the, the infantry as well. John Slow losing some units there. One survives. I mean, not one survives, but that one survives with one HP, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> a little lion there just being annoying. And both of them imp at the same time. Getting all the monk techs, illumination, block breeding, printing. Traps are being built right away. One has sight wagon. And yeah, Dragon's economy is so good. Uh, the resources collected, he's 2k ahead now. If he can break out of this, the only thing he's missing is map control. If he can break out of this and he is... Ending. This is at least 7k gold, it's still... Oh, I mean, I think I'm slightly the wrong gold. Yes, a thousand gold, that's not 7k. It's a, oh, the other one was here. But running out of this gold will be a loose condition. Draken does add some bombards, and, but now the monks with block printing can convert them. And the Bohemians could get Hufnice, and look at this. Look at the spending from Jon Snow. Uh, Jon Slow. <laughs> He's spending all of his economy so efficiently. Trev Wars in the castle, of course, Draken does have Defender's advantage. He can move how many villagers he wants there. Um, the Bombards try to find some damage, but the monks push them back right away. This is now a matter of unit control. If the monks can get a good conversion, this is such a stressful match for both of them. Monks getting a good conversion could end the game. It's... You need to use your units, you also need to not overcommit. Whoever loses the castle first will be in a, 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 a much worse position. One gets converted. Oh, they try to hit the monks. Ooh, when things get messy, that's when the monks can start to shine. And will both castles go down? Yeah, they, the conversions are in, the bombard cannons are there. A castle goes down. Both castles went down. And both castles went down, but Jon Slow has a huge military lead. So now he can convert th that into so much pressure. The villagers there take so long to deal with the bombard cannon. I do like the the quick reaction of adding a, a more defensive castle right away, but your opponent already has the trap numbers. 
it will be hard for this castle to go up and then to keep it. Dragon really likes the military, the monks are making this a nightmare. Uh, monks are so efficient against uh, small numbers of units, and now that there's no castle, and GG is called. Draken uh, played this amazingly with the economy and everything, but Jon Slow was against the clock, he was with less economy, he needed to cause damage, that's the position he was in, and he managed to uh, read the game perfectly, both of them knew Imp was very important, he won the trap war, he microed the monks perfectly, always trying to to avoid Draken's use of the units, Draken couldn't use his units to the full potential because the monks were always there, always trying to get a conversion, always trying to, to find damage, and even with only 4 eco kills by Jon Slow, 20 to 20 KT, Jon Slow did manage to, to, to win this match with the Bohemians, very well played by, by, by both of them, and yeah, I feel like at lower elo sometimes arena can get a little bit of a slog. This was such an action-packed game. This was a great game by both of them and it was a, 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 a pleasure to watch. This makes me uh, enjoy arena a lot more. So as always, I'm Danando, I love Age of Empires, I'll be casting more matches in the future, so subscribe if you want to see more and like the video if you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!